In fact, the United States has defended its uh, Jerusalem decision. The Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has said that President Trump is carrying out uh, the will of the American people. Mr. Tillerson says that the moving of the embassy to Jerusalem will take time. As you know, there's a 1995 law in the United States that requires the United States to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to relocate our embassy. So the president, after many, many reaffirmations by our Senate, including as recently as this past summer in a vote, I think was 90 to nothing with 10 abstentions, the president is simply carrying out the will of the American people. The reality is Israel's government, its uh, courts, its prime minister's office is all in Jerusalem today. So it is just an acknowledgement of what is reality on the ground. As to the move of the embassy, the president has directed me and the State Department to undertake the process to begin an effort to move the embassy. We are not going to be doing that quickly. Uh, we have to acquire a site. We have to develop building plans. We'll have to construct a building. So this is not something that will happen overnight. Uh, so the reality is, as you wake up today after this announcement, is nothing is different other than the president has now implemented the 1995 law. Having said that, he also reaffirmed our strong belief that the status quo and the holy sites must be maintained, which recognize the rightful role of, of various countries around those sites. Uh, he also affirmed our support for a two-state solution, if that's what the parties believe they are ready to agree. And he also made a statement regarding the final status of Jerusalem was something that is left for the parties to negotiate. So this has to do with a U.S. law and a U.S. decision, and every country has a right to decide what it wants to decide as to its embassy in Israel.